Hi, welcome to this video of tutorial of the Atmega328 pin description and the various features that it has. So let me first start with the introduction to the Atmega328 IC. So the Atmega328 is a single chip microcontroller created by Atmel and belongs to the Mega AVR series. Uh, talking about its specifications, the Atmel 8-bit AVR RIS based microcontroller combines 32KB ISP flash memory with read while write capabilities, 1KB of EE PROM, 2KB of SRAM, 23 general purpose IO lines, 32 general purpose working registers, 3 flexible timer counters with compare modes, internal and external interrupts, serial programmable USART, a byte oriented 2 wire serial interface, SPI serial port, 6 channel 10 bit A to D converter, it can be 10, 8 channels up to in another packages like TQFP, programmable watchdog timer with internal oscillator, and 5 software selectable power saving modes. The device operates between 1.8 to 5.5 5 volts. The device achieves throughputs approaching 1 mega instructions per second per megahertz. Uh, then we can now move on to the in detail descriptions of it, the pins. Uh, talking about the pins, uh, we can have various types of pins, uh, types means in the various modes which their pins can be used. For example, it has 14 digital output pins. There are, uh, there are 6 are can be used as PWM outputs and the remaining 6 can be used as analog inputs. Uh, let us see the technical specifications of the Atmega328 of how the, does it works on various voltage and currents. So talking about the microcontroller what we are using it is Atmega 328P which is a series alternative to the Atmega 328 microcontroller uh, here P stands for the Pico power uh, the operating voltage nominal voltage is 5 volt and the recommended standard is 7 to 12 volt and then we have digital IO pins uh, what we said just, just now that there are 14 and of which 6 of them can be uh, PWM output. Then there are uh, six analog input pins. Uh, for a particular pin, uh, we can say it can throughput 20 milliampere of current for DC, and uh, a typical 3.3 volt pin can output 50 milliampere of current. And then the clock speed can be ranging from uh, minimum 4 megahertz or uh, we can say we can even start with 1 megahertz to uh, ranging about 16 megahertz uh, it, it also has internal oscillators uh, so using which one of them depends upon entirely how we program the fuses of the microcontroller so now let us continue with the memory uh, of the 8 mega 328 the Atmega328 has 32 kilobyte of flash memory. It also has 2 KB of SRAM and 1 kilobyte of EE PROM, which can be read and written um, as used by the user. Each of the 14 digital pins on the Atmega328 can be used as an input or output. They operate at 5 volts. Each pin can provide or receive 20 milliamperes of current. Also, a maximum of 40 mA is a value that must not be exceeded on any I.O. pin to avoid permanent damage to the microcontroller. In addition, some pins also have specialized functions. Let us talk about them uh, pin to pin. The pin number 1, as we see, it's written as reset bar. That means this is an active low signal. Uh, it resets the microcontroller on an active low. That means whenever a zero volt is provided to at this pin, the, the microcontroller is set to reset. Then pin number 2 is RXT and pin number 3 is TXT. These are serial communication port. Whenever a serial data is received, it should be received through RXT 
and whenever a serial data is to be transmitted it should be transmitted via txt they operate at the ttl level then we have pin number 4 as int0 and pin number 5 as int1 these are external interrupts that means any external event whenever it, it is to be registered to a microcontroller that means whenever the microcontroller should uh, monitor external events and act according to the occurrence of an event uh, that event should give a high pulse at these pins uh, depending upon the PUM mode we are using the in triggering of the interrupt uh, may be at a lower level or at edge triggered depending upon how we program it so and then we have pin number 6 as T0 and uh, it can be used as a external timer to provide timing pulse then we have pin number 7 and pin number 8 as a uh, our power signals same as pin number 22 and 21 actually 7 is VCC 8 number is ground that means 5 volt and 0 volt again 22 volt is ground 0 volt and 21 is analog reference voltage which can be set to the whatever reference we want um, in normal conditions we use 5 volt as the analog reference then we have pin number 9 as OSC1 and pin number 10 as OSC2 these are the oscillator pins or the XTL1 and XTL2 pins uh, across which we will be connecting our crystal crystal is used for uh, giving external timing pulses to the microcontroller which can be which can range from 1 megahertz to like 16 megahertz then we have pin number 12 11 as a t1 that is a timing pulse again same as pin number 6 then we have pin number 12 as osc0a which is one of the pwm pulse giving signal uh, PW, pwm signal giving uh, pin and can be used to give PWM pulse to any external device connected to the microcontroller then we have pin number 13 as a digital IO pin again the pin number 12 could have been used as a PWM or as also a digital pin so now talking about pin number 14 pin number 14 is a Now pin number 14 is again a digital I.O. pin which can be used for uh, inputting or outputting digital pulses. Pin number 15 is OC1A which uh, is a PWM pin again can give PWM output and as well as can be used as a digital I.O. pin. Then pin number 16 is again a PWM pin and a, in, a digital I.O. pin then we have pin number 17 18 and 19 an SPI port which can be used for SPI communication in which the role of pin number 17 is a MOS, MOSI that means a serial input and pin number 18 for serial output during serial peripheral interface communication then we have pin number 19 as giving the clock pulse serial clock pulse to the device to which SPI communication is desired so also our pin number 17 could have been used for a PWM so it can be used in three different modes for for a digital IO or for a PWM pulse or for serial communication through SPI it can be used in the various modes uh, in the way we program it then pin number 40, 18 can also be used as a digital I.O. and similarly pin number 19 can be used as a digital I.O. pin then we had talked about pin number 21 and 22 that were ground and analog reference pins now pin number 20 is also 
AVCC that means uh, the analog voltage uh, again AVCC is used for analog voltage reference then pin number 23 is uh, ADC0 that means again the analog input uh, here an analog voltage can be received and through the internal ADC a digital value can be generated then pin number 24 through actually 28 we had ADC 1 2 3 4 5 so here we can see that we have ADC 0 to ADC 5 that means we have 5 analog pins uh, talking about these analog pins they are they are 10 they have 10 bits of resolution that means 1024 values can be generated from various voltages by default they measure from ground to 0, 5 volts as uh, a ref is connected to 5 volt and then it actually varies the values from for example for a 0 volt in which it will give 0 value that is a digital pw and digital value to 1023 for a 5 volt analog value now talking about pin number 27 and pin number 28 we can also see that uh, they have been labeled as sta and scl they are actually the serial data communication lines for uh, two wire communication line that means uh, actually it uh, follows using the i2c communication protocol these two pins can be used for communication so this was the basic uh, pin description of itmega328 and uh, descriptions of its features thank you